is 2023 and yes you can design and publish a 3d website without using code that is correct man no 3js no javascript no html no css you can design your 3d website with animations using no code man welcome to dora ai so all you have to do man is go to dora.run and this will be in the description again man dora.run this will be in the description, man. Design and publish 3D animated websites without code. And we already see, man, a few 3D models that are just bouncing off the screen, providing a lot of pop and color. And this looks like somebody put a lot of time into it, but there was no code. Scrolling down, man, we have our astronaut on his little floaty device, which is a very cool 3D model. And right now I'm actually scrolling the page and nothing's happening except for our astronaut waving his hand. And that's one of the many things that you can do with Dora.ai. You can add your 3D model and add scroll animation. So instead of this page scrolling down, we have our astronaut on his floaty device in space, cool and chilling, man. Probably listening to the nine, just chilling in space. So unleash the power of 3D web design, import 3D objects and scenes directly into your editor and achieve mind blowing effects previously only achievable through coding. And I will show you guys how to find free 3D models and how to upload your 3D models to Dora AI, man. Just stay tuned. I got you guys. So man, to get started, you do need to join the Dora.ai waitlist. So you just have to put in your email. And uh, what I did was I just logged into Google. So once you do that, man, you'll be put into a waitlist. Now you might be saying, man, what is this dude talking about a waitlist? Don't fear. The waitlist, I believe, is for the Dora AI Alpha. Man, I'm actually able to use Dora AI. I'm pro it's probably just the beta, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, man, I found a glitch to use Dora AI without being on the waitlist. Again, click the first link in this video. And what you do is once you're here, all you have to do is click this button right here, made in Dora, and you are on the editor which is insane. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys one more crazy thing that Dora can do. So you give it the prompt of add scroll animation, Dora will ask you to select the widget. And as long as your widget is 3D, you select that widget and Dora will pull up the timeline and add keyframes so that your image moves across the page as you scroll. I'm gonna say that again. It'll add the keyframes for you, man, before you have to do that in Adobe After Effects or whatever video editor you used to import 3D models and animations and have them move on the screen. You have to do that keyframe by keyframe. With Dora AI, you can do that with the push of a button. Now, I believe that is an alpha model feature because I haven't been able to use that using the beta. But enough talk, man, let's jump right into it. So to use the beta, man, we're gonna go back to Dora.run. You just click this blue button right in the bottom right. Again, you click the blue button right in the bottom right and that will take you to the Dora editor we are inside so I'm gonna jump into a project that I already started because I wanted to have something ready for you guys man I didn't just want to make everything here that would be like a 35 minute video so I have a, something already started for you guys using a few 3d models and using animations so let's see what I created so as you can see man here is our website Creator Quam. We have a 3D model, which we found for free on the internet, and I will show you guys how to do that. I'm just scrolling down here, man. This is the Creator Quam website, not the official website. We have our GoPro, because we do film with our iPhone 12. This is like an iPhone 10 on the screen, but we film with our iPhone 12 Pro. You feel me? You could film with an iPhone. You could be a YouTuber with an iPhone. We have our laptop with code because we are coders, man. We Even though we're making a video of making a website without code, we do know how to code just in case. And then that's just our simple video, man. We have three uh, 3D models and I put a background on the image. Uh, the background was made using Mid Journey and I put a background image in. It looks kind of amateurish. I'm not gonna lie, I can roast myself. It looks a little amateurish, but pretty cool what you can do with the 3d models and i also got the phone to rotate on command using the scroll so without further ado man let's show you guys how to import 3d models into dora ai and i want to add another 3d model i just want to jump right into it no bs let's add another 3d model so to do that so we're going to go to the top of the editor and we're going to hit 3d and this will bring up a little cursor and we can set how big we want our 3d model to be can set our container for our 3d model 
And now that our container is set, we have a button right here that says import 3D model. So for our 3D model, I want to go to sketchfab.com. And what you can do is um, just search up anything that you need uh, and it'll pull up a bunch of OBJ, GLTF files, and GLB files. Now, for Dora.ai, listen up, you need a GLB file. For other types of files will not be uploaded, so you need a GLB file. Coming here, we have this 3D model of a robot because we are a channel that talks about AI a lot, so a robot fits into the theme of this channel. And we're going to scroll down to GLB. Again, you need a GLB file. If you use an OBJ file, it will not load the textures and colors. And if you use an F FBX file, it won't load uh, into the website entirely. So we have our GLB downloaded. We're going to go back to Dora AI. There's our 3D model. We have our robot positioned. As you can see, it's still uploading the 3D image, so we have to wait a little bit while. And as I say that, the image is uploaded. So, we'll just hit enter. All right, guys, so as you can see, man, our robot is put into our website, but he's not animated. So to animate him, what you have to do is go to the Layers tab on the left, and you're going to have the 3D widget. You're going to go down to 3D scene and then you click the actual GLB file. Once you click that on the right side, you'll have a list of settings. As long as your 3D object file is animated, then you'll have this button right here that just says 3D animations and you click it. And as you can see, our robot is doing his cool animations, things flowing around his head and all that type of jazz. You can definitely click this on the second link in the description. I'll have this live for you guys to check out. As you can see, man, our robot, he looks really cute, man. Cute kid, cute little robot guy. Okay, there's our robot guy. Now, I wanna add a couple of YouTube videos. So, to do that, I'm just gonna click the pictures tab. And just like the OBJ file, or just like the GLB file, we're gonna hit select the source, upload an image. And of course I have my images of some thumbnails that I want to put on here. So we have added our YouTube videos, man. And I just want to view our website, man. Let's see how it looks. This is just using the preview. So of course it's going to be a little choppy. Our cute robot and then our three YouTube videos. This is a cool little portfolio, man. Obviously, we can do a lot more to make this look way more professional. But this is just done in like 15, 20 minutes, man. Without further ado, this is the power of Dora AI. Crypto Quan family, we're on the road to a milli. Let's get that M real pretty soon, man. We're going to get that M soon. Without further ado, man, please click the first link in this description, man, to get started with Dora AI. Um, it'll have my referral code. There's no money involved, so I'm not making no money by you guys signing up with Dora AI. I'm just giving you guys these free AI tools so you can pull up to your job and say, look at this website I made, and bam, you just got your promotion. Without further ado, man, this is the Crypto Quan family. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, I'm out of here. I was in Atlanta chilling with the Falcons, Han Soto. I just hit a bad bitch on camera like a GoPro. I just hit a bitch like a limp with total go low. I just put up... Would it be $7,136,000? I just put up with your new team, not a... You just pulled up with your new team, Mason Bozo. He just hit a new Latina thing, going loco. I told Brody gotta think big, hey, acting local. Hey, I was out of town serving green to the locals. Hey, I just made a bad bitch sing, use a vocal. Hey, and let me be blunt, chilling off a of blunt. I'm like Beijing, that big bun. Brody on the block, he see his chain, he like he needs some. I was on the clock, trying to plot like I need hey, hugs. Brody used to call me a tiller, cause I need hugs. I know how it feels when you down and got no funds. You just gotta go and hit the field, then you roll run. Then when you go. Kind of meal 